what happens when you sleep. You aren't just turned off, right? A part of your brain is always awake, okay? And what happens is, very basically, your brain shrinks. This is, this is the actual noise that it makes. Yeah. And then a, a fluid called cerebral spinal fluid drains across the brain from the front to the back, cleaning it out. Because during the day, right now, when you're thinking, you know, you're firing neurons at different patterns across your brain, all the complicated things you do in your day, creates an excess byproduct, kind of little toxins that sit on top of your brain. Nothing to worry about, you're all good. You can't avoid it, it's okay. But what happens at night is your brain clears those toxins out every single night. And you need to go through a bunch of sleep cycles to do that. It's at least three and they take a few hours each. So you need to sleep for eight to nine hours a night, every single night. Yeah. There's a few aspects of this. You can't bank sleep. You can't sleep five hours on a week day, 10 hours on a Saturday, 10 hours on a Sunday. And be like, okay, I've caught up. It doesn't work. Like Contrary that. to belief, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. If you have not got enough sleep the night before, you're never getting that sleep back. You yeah. can't just bank it the next night. Obviously, sometimes we don't get out of sleep. I'm not trying to fear monger about how terrible that is for your health, but you need to try as much as you possibly can and make sure that consistently, and that's the most important thing, is that you are getting at least hours sleep most nights. Yeah. That is so important. 